how to multiply binomials using the FOIL method. You can find this video tutorial on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash FOIL, and the goal of this tutorial is to be able to, to multiply binomials like the ones you see on the screen, x minus 3 times x plus 11, or like the one on the bottom. And we're going to first start by reviewing the distributive property. And maybe we should just remind ourselves of a term. The term binomial, as bi implies, refers to two terms. All right, so today we want to be able to m understand how to multiply one binomial, x plus 3, by another binomial, x plus 2. It's just going to boil down to being the distributive property twice. Most people remember the final steps with an acronym known as FOIL. And that's why if you want to find this tutorial, you go to our website, mathwarehouse.com slash FOIL. Okay, the distributive property says that if you multiply x times x plus 2, you distribute the x, so that you get x squared, x times x, plus 2x, 2 times x. And the same here with the 3. You could multiply, uh, distribute the 3 to the x to get 3x, and the 3 to the 2 to get 6. And now if we added x times x plus 2, plus 3 times x, 3 times 3x plus 2, we would get, I'll write it down below, at x squared. We have 2x plus 3x, which is 5x plus 6. And as you see, we use the distributive property here and here, and we got x squared plus 5x plus 6. Using the distributive property twice is actually what FOIL boils down to. We um, are going to multiply the x here times that x. This is the first term on the left and the first term on the right, right? That's where the F in FOIL comes from, firsts, right? Multiply the first pair together, the firsts together, the X times the X to get X squared. O stands for out the outers, right? What would be the outers in this? It would be the X times the two. Right, I'll write that as 2x. I stands for the inners, which is the 3 and the x. Right, and the lasts stands for the last in each pair here, 3 and 2. Right, that's the last. 3 times 2, which is 6. And now we're going to add all these up. It's x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6, and if you remember from up above, that becomes x squared plus 5x plus 6. So really, when you FOIL binomials, and remember FOIL just stands for first, outers, inners, lasts, um, all you're really doing is applying the distributive property twice. Just like we distributed x to x plus 2, and 3 to x plus 2, when you have x plus 3 times x plus 2, you're really going to distribute the x here to both terms, x plus 2. You're going to distribute the 3 here to both terms, x plus 2. And you will get the same exact answer. FOIL is just a way to remember what you do. Right? You multiply the first, the outers, the inners, and the lasts. So let's now do the bottom here. Remember we're going to do the firsts, the outers, inners, and lasts. Right? And what we do is we, we're going to multiply these and then at the end we add. Right? We added the x squared plus 2x plus 3x just like we added in the top when we did the double distributive method. So what are the firsts here? x and x, these are the firsts. All right, so you get x times x, or x squared. How about the outers? x and 5, these are the outers, or the O and FOIL. x times 5 or 5x. The inners, 7 and x, right there on the inside. Lasts 
are the 7 and the 5. The last, F-O-I-L. Last are 7 times 5, or 35. And just like when you distribute the x to the x, the x to the x and 2, remember we kept the addition. We are going to keep the addition sign here so by adding what we have here. Right? So you end up with x squared plus 5x plus 7x is 12x plus 35. Right? So FOIL is just a way to help you remember that you have to multiply the firsts, the outers, the inners, and the last whenever you multiply two binomials. Okay, let's do um, let's do a little more practice with problems like the ones we just did before we look at um, some more challenging binomials that we're going to multiply. So let's do x minus three times x plus eleven. And notice, really, the only difference here is that I introduced a negative sign here because I wanted you to see that. Um, FOIL still works for positive or negative signs, right? So FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. What are the firsts here? X and X. It's the firsts, or X squared. What about the outers? X times 11, or 11X. What about the inners? The inners is negative 3 times x, or negative 3x. And the lasts, negative 3 times 11, or negative 33. And when you add all of these up, you get x squared plus 11x minus 3x minus 33, which just becomes x squared plus 8x minus 33. All right, let's try one more. We have two negative signs. Just identify the first outers, inners, and lasts. Right, and the firsts are x and x, or x squared. The outers, x times negative 5, or negative 5x. Inners, negative 3 times x. And the lasts are negative 3 times negative 5, which is 15. All right, so if you remember at the end, we add, and you get x squared minus 8x plus 15. All right, so the only thing to keep in mind when we, um, the, with these, the only thing, the only point of these examples was to show you that when there's a negative sign, you do include that, right? It's negative 3 times x. Alright, so now let's look at um, some special cases of foiling. Let's look at something like x minus 3, x plus 3, and then let's look at some binomials where we have a coefficient in front of the x, a 2x, a 3x, a 3x, and a 5x. So first off, x minus 3, x plus 3. Let's just apply our, our FOIL rule. Right. So firsts are x squared. Outers, 3x. I'm running out of room here. I'm going to put it over here. Sorry. Firsts are x squared. Outers are 3x. Inners are negative 3x. And lasts are negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. And when you add these up, Notice that the 3x minus 3x becomes 0, right? When you have 3x and you subtract 3x, they go away, and you end up just with x squared minus 9. So whenever you have something like x minus a times x plus a, notice this was minus 3 plus 3, the middle term will cancel out. You can try other examples to test that out if you want, but it would happen for anything, including 3x minus 5 times 3x plus 5. If, you, if, this, if the x terms are the same and the only difference is that there's a minus and a plus, 3x plus 5, 3x minus 5, the middle term will, will cancel. All right, let's look at something like some more challenging binomials where we have coefficients like this. And we're just going to basically follow the same rules. Firsts 
right? 2x times 3x, which will give us 6x squared. Outers, 2x times minus 1, minus 2x. Inners, 5 times 3x will give us 15x. <clears throat> Lasts will get will be 5 times negative 1 or negative 5. And just add up like we've done in the past. When you, when you add these, you get 6x squared uh, plus 13x minus 5. Okay, so let's try one more with um, binomials with coefficients. You know the deal, we're just going to apply our FOIL formula first. 3x, 5x will be 15x squared. Inners will be, uh, sorry, skipping outers. Huh. Outers, 3x times negative 2, which is negative 6x. Inners will be 7 times 5x, or 35x. And the last 7 times negative 2, which is negative 14, and as always, add up at the end. You get 15x squared plus 29x minus 14. Alright, that's how you FOIL binomials. You just follow the, uh, the algorithm, first outers, inners, last, and then you add them just like you do whenever you distribute anything. All right, now I, I want to just spend the last few minutes um, looking at whether this actually works when you use numbers. Like, you, maybe you are, you don't really believe me that FOIL works. Like maybe you think I'm just making up these rules. Let's see what happens if we try to FOIL with actual numbers. 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 1. Now, <clears throat> if I give this to you, you probably know in your head that you can rewrite this as 8 times 3 or 24. So let's see if when we FOIL these numbers, will we in the end get 24? Let's not simplify it. Let's use FOIL and see if FOIL really works. When we mo Let's do it. So the first <coughs> are 3 times 2, or 6. The outers, 3 times 1, or 3. The inners, 5 times 2, or 10. And the last, 5 times 1, or 5. Let's add these up. 8. What do you get? You get the exact same number. 6 plus 3 plus 10 plus 5 equals 24. All right, remember we add at the end. So I hope this last example shows you that FOIL really does work. When we use real numbers, 3 plus 5 and 2 plus 1, and we FOIL them, we get the same number we would get if we did this the normal way, I mean, normally, if you saw 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 1, you would simplify 3 plus 5 to 8, 2 plus 1 to 3, and you just say, oh, 8 times 3 is 24. But you could FOIL them. 